Good morning, everyone. Last week, P brought out some of the impression plates in the end of the stream, and we got some really great results. So we thought let's bring back those with some oldies, but goodies, and some newbies. The goal in this stream will be to create layers using impression plates, all the while discussing placement and the overall composition. Pull out your old IDKs, you know, the I don't knows, or just simple polls, because like we said last time, we are just one poll away from meh to marvelous. Good morning, and that's everyone. marvelous, darling. This is P. I'm M. Patricia. Mariah. PM Artist Studio. That's us. Yes, it is. Hopefully, we're in like 1080 today. 1080? Uh, yeah. Is that good? Yeah. That's kind of oh, high yes. def. 1080. High def. Oh, God. I hope you don't Wait, see that... my set. Oh. Well, now they're definitely going to. Yeah. What's sorry. wrong with okay. you? All right. Show them your jewelry and your cute shirt and all Just that stand good. Up for my shirt. Yeah. That's a lot. Did you, can you see the bottom one? There you go. GG. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So, let's see. Like I said, in the intro, we will be doing impression plates, all that good stuff. I'm moving my little chat thingy around here so I can see it over there. Actually, I don't really need to see that one. Hold on. Sorry. Moving things about the cabin. We have some very exciting things this morning. We do. Because uh, we watched the uh, Happy Paper People, Marianne and Sharon, last night. Tell you what. Oh, we did. Those and... gals are fun. Um, and it came about that we wanted to try something new with one of the suggestions there. So, with that, I'm going to send, sending you over. And good morning, everyone. We have Elisa and Leslie, both Robins. Good morning, Robins. And uh, if you are showing up to the chat, let us know that you're... Oh, Isabel, hello. Oh, from Ireland. Good morning oh. and welcome. Um, My daughter's been there. I didn't get to go, though. <laughs> I drank most of the time. <laughs> I don't know what she went. She just went there and <laughs> drank and... That's really what I did. It caroused. Was... I had all uh, itinerary all over. She all, did. I mean, this much. Like this a, much. Yeah. Oh, we got to put it in the camera. She was, this much. Yeah, like this much. I, I still have it. <laughs> we'll make it back there one day, maybe. We will. We'll go on a little arty tour. Yes, Fetch and Gretchen is there right now. Fetch and Gretchen? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Kind of hoping this COVID thing will. Yeah, I even I got a year or so under here. our belt of that. Happy paper people, Marianne and Sharon. Oh, Caroline, very good morning. You are new. Let us know where Welcome, you're coming Caroline. in from. All right, well, I think we're just going to jump in. Um, hopefully, Marianne and Sharon will join us later on, or who knows, check back. Um, but we're going to get right into it because we have lots to do today. We do. So aisles. All right, so I'm gonna let you talk about and jump right in and talk about the thing, the the very exciting <clears> thing. <throat> okay, now this is the paste that I used last night, and I don't know. Can you see the loft on it? It's almost equal to our favorite, light and fluffy. Now, how did that happen? I used. U.S. Art Supply Cheap Modeling Paste, which really, um, it's my second favorite. Yeah, even when we did the, we did the test, because remember yeah. we were testing things out, I think, didn't we? Because it's nice and white. Yeah. I like golden and I like the consistency, but I do not like the gray cast. It just is. It's so weird, like it dulls out. I mean, I just don't even know why, why would they do something like that? It's what's like they with, add ashes or something. What's up with that, Golden? Let us know in the comments when you're watching our video. But anyway, <laughs> I just cleaned out this, this is uh, the old golden. I just cleaned it up and used it on some of this stenciling that I did. Oh, good morning, Thalisha. Good morning, Thalisha. Hey, aren't you get, you're going to do some stuff with one of her pieces, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I am, I am. She, I, I she treated both sides. Treated both sides. One shiny, one not. <laughs> but Everybody I'm, needs I'm gonna, a little shine and then not I, so I'm much. Gonna, I'm going to see, you know, if I, I can All right, pull sorry. something off. All right. U.S. Art Supply and Baking Soda. All right, here's the trick. 
you start out with about two tablespoons. You want to have a jar about this size because it grows. Uh, yeah, and you want to have plenty of mixing room because you really need to whip it. And whip it good. And whip it good. <laughs> uh, the two tablespoons, what were you referring to? The baking soda or the modeling paste? Starting out with the modeling paste. Put two ta tablespoons, tablespoons of modeling, modeling paste in there. Now you can always add more. This is like, you know, we refer to everything we do as French cooking. It, it, Pull out the big salad bowl. Yes. But don't fill it up. Because <laughs> you want to have plenty of mixing room. Seriously. Yeah, it's yeah, so true. Start large. Anyway. Do not mix in your original container. You will be very disappointed with the results. Oh, yeah. And I, I wouldn't advise doing that anyway because, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. So this is how I did it. I would just take these three fingers, dip it in the baking soda, and put it in there. And I did that until I reached the consistency <laughs> of peaks and valleys. Can you see this lusciousness? Now, Felicia will appreciate this because th there's a lot of things. Oh, it's very similar to baking and how you want to whip it things. It is, and, and do you notice this lovely stick that I'm using here? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll tell you what, this has been life altering. But you will see, you can see a bit of, can you see it? Can you see it? A can bit see of it? graininess like the light and fluffy. It's definitely matte. I mean, it already mm -hmm. is matte. And when it dries, it's very much matte. Yeah. Okay, another little trick on this. Make sure that this edge is clean. That's one of the, the nice lid things, on. yeah, about the little spatulas is they help in doing that. They really do. And you want this to seal because that around the edge gets kind of mm -hmm. dry and boogery buggery and it will mess you up <laughs> I, I'm speaking totally from experience yeah totally from experience all right so that brings us to our next little project here which is we're going to put something on top of this I want to talk a little bit about composition and the reason I do is because I think a lot of things that I see I feel they need something at the bottom to give it weight. Anchor. Anchor. Thank you. That's that's a good word. Anchor as, it. As my um, high school art teacher, Mr. Bobby Weed, told me that floating objects do not typically make for good design. Wrote that on my thing. I made an 80. I was very upset. It's like, do you know who my I mother was, is? <laughs> this I is was unacceptable. Good, I was good friends with Bobby. and. <laughs> I really felt for him because Mariah was a very difficult student <laughs> to have in class. She, she already knew, well, she'd already been to college with me because I couldn't afford a babysitter, so I had to take her with me. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, anyway, back right. to Robin, composition. Ro Robin has asked, baking soda is not inert. Is that a concern? Um, I, I need you to qualify that. What does that mean? Yeah, we're meaning it, it is it is active. As opposed to right. inactive. Right. So she says not inert. So it well, has not made a reaction with the stuff that's in there. All right. Yes. Uh, or it did, but it's I not a bad one. I appreciate that concern. And the thing about it is, I think if you will look up your modeling paste recipes, they've got some kind of marble dust. Well, what do you think marble dust is? Yeah. It's also not inert if it's activated by vinegar or some acid. So I left this overnight just to see. Yeah, because we were, we, we, there was a concern. And the other nice thing about this is, is the odor, yeah, it's still there a little bit, Mariah, right? smell. Oh, goodness, she's always having me smell um, things. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's still there, but it isn't as strong as it was. So the baking soda is act, acting as a uh, deodorizer effect. And I don't think that there's anything in here that is going to now, you know, explode. I believe it would have done so overnight, Robin. So I, yeah, we're I, feeling appreciate, safe. I appreciate your concern. Well, it can't be good. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so we're describing that. Yeah. So just, okay. All right. Enough of that. <laughs> we think we've covered that. Moving it did not on explode. to the art part. <laughs> the science okay. we're not so good at. <laughs> we just do things. And yeah, we They just, don't explode. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do. I told Mariah. We did talk that. about it. Uh, yeah, I, I did have a lot of help in chemistry class from Anyways. other people. Anyway, all right, so back to our composition here. So then I, I, my lovely 
Hey, this was a suggestion. Son-in-law brat. He is just such a... Remember the suggestion from last week? Yeah. We made it happen. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? I now have a stamp on a two by six inch gel plate. And just as uh, Robin, original Robin, had said, go over to the hardware store, see if they have, you know, the... Plexiglass. Plexi plexiglass, yes. And that's really what it is, plexiglass product. Yeah. And they did. They had a 9 by 12 or something, wasn't it? I don't know. It, it was, wasn't 8 and a half by 11. It, it was 7 bucks. Yeah. And then he and did what he did. And we got all score. of these pieces out of there. I have four 3 and a half by 3 and a half. And, and I think there's even one. some left over. So. Oh. I, didn't, I think. Oh, maybe so. I don't know. I just know that when you buy this stuff online, already cut into shapes which aren't necessary. Oh, she's wondering if it's going to fall off the page in a month. I don't think so, because here's the, here's the thing, especially about the U.S. art supply and why we chose it to be the one that we mixed with. It's, one very, of our, it's very gooey. One of our dislikes about it? it is the amount of... So it's, it's probably whatever the acrylic base or however that is all made because it had a lot of that in there. It, and it's shiny. It was shiny until we added in the baking soda. And then we got more of the consistency of like the light and fluffy. So there's plenty of bonding agent in there to, to kind of get more back to the sciencey terms of it. So we believe that, yeah, there's going to be plenty there. And, you know, if all else fails, again, like, and I can't I can't pick this off. Yeah, and so, like, when P mixed up the coffee one, um, like, that stuff got crumbly. But, you know, put some Mod Podge over it. There's a solution for everything. Well, or add glue. Or, yeah, add some PVA you can add the to PVA it. PVA to yeah. your, your thing. You know, now, come on, I'm imagining that y'all got enough sense to do that. <laughs> I, I'm not. Robin's here to ask the hard questions. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enough said. So, composition-wise, I want to add a circle here. I can't believe I don't have my circle out of here. Well, I'm probably going to have to wait for that to dry a little bit so then I can fetch my circle. Fetch? No. Nope. Where's your, what, what? Why are you waiting for what to dry? Uh, I'm going to mix some paint here and I'm going to put oh. on my, this. Okay. And I decided, you know, I had the, the matching Yes, this was the paper oh, artsy stuff that we did last week. Our version of the tundra. Yeah. Which really crazy. It looks super gray. I, you know, and it's so weird because when you put it on here, it's, it's almost gonna, a purple. Purple. Well, we're fixing to purple it up a little bit. We're fixing to. So that's what our base is going to be, and it's also extremely matte. Remember? Yes. Yeah, because it's chalky. Well, <laughs> ours wasn't extreme. Let's. The fresco, the paper artsy stuff is extremely matte because it is very chalky. Well, I, I, and I should Ours is rephrase bit, that. Yeah. It is opaque and I don't want it to be opaque. I yes. want it to, I want it to be. Uh, get, get your terms right. I, I want, I want it to be <laughs> translucent. People are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And no pressure. No pressure. And, okay, that's, that's uh, getting there. What I'm going for is I'm going for a lighter version of what's in this darker here. Here. I, I want to keep it in that same family, so. And we are going to get on to the impression plates. This is just kind of stage one. So she wanted to get this out of the way so everything could dry. Yeah, because we're I bring it a, back into the mix. I have a whole bunch of them that I'm going to, um, all right, I'm just going to turn this over because I think, yeah. But we were super excited about the... Uh, to show you that this is very opaque. You're, you're not going to see anything through that. And All I right, now... Is that? Gonna, I didn't... Mariah? Why we have this dark I'm, area over here? You have a dark... Crazy. Yes, you do, because you didn't give me your light. I know. I'm going to give you my light again. There we go. All right, Mariah, I'm going to ask you... Oh, no, here it is. I thought I had all this organized last night, and I did, but I put it away because it was taking, <laughs> taking up a lot of real estate. She cleaned up. I cleaned up. And you know how that goes. Putting away the stuff you needed. Bringing out the impasto. For those of you that are new and don't know the 
know Dang. us all that well. Um, impasto is something that we use quite a bit, especially when P does her paint mixes. It's sort of the starting base to all things mixed. Yeah. And if you know Judy P, she's on vacation right now, but that girl loves her some impasto. And she can make it stand <laughs> on its ear. I mean, I cannot believe what that girl does with that and gets the results. It is absolutely not. That might be something interesting to mix with the baking soda. I don't know. All right. So I've got enough in there. I hope that I can still stir it around. Or cornstarch. We were talking about cornstarch, too. Maybe we that would be a little less, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not going to create any kind of a... Fluff. Uh, the problem with the cornstarch is it becomes goopy. Yes. Because I've, I've made... I, I've used cornstarch in pencil shavings. Yeah. And it, it, it sticks more to whatever it is that you're applying it with than it does to the surface that you're... So what she's doing here is making this more of a semi-transparent. Because I do want to see through it. Right. I do want to see through it. And it's... All right, there we go. Okay, you can see the difference there. Huge. Yeah, huge difference, huge difference. Good job, right, I, Yeah, I think I'm going to... I like that. I don't know. I like that. But do you think it's going to be good here? I, I think it needs to be just a little bit darker. Oh, you put too much in, huh? I put too much impasto in, and now I'll probably mess around. I'll have to put some more impasto. That's kind of the way it goes here. Did y'all see my little oh, brush rest over here? I told her it was a, um... Okay, here we're going with Van Dyke. And we are only putting in one drop. One drop. One... <laughs> well, at least I... One drop in, one drop out. <laughs> <laughs> Get on there. Okay, that now that's some dark stuff. You that see is why some I'm dark just stuff. adding one drop? I am not a neat person. I am the messiest person in the world. If there's any way to mess it up... You should see the kitchen when I cook. Oh yeah, she's oh she she needs a sous chef like nobody's business. <laughs> Falling around, and, and she gets uh, mad at me because I. Mariah I, washes my measuring cup. Like as we and go. I'm reaching for my measuring cup. I'm reaching for my spoons. And What'd want. you do with my knife? You know. I'm just cleaning up. Uh Lisa wants to know. Could you tell us the difference between impasto and light and fluffy, please? So, impasto is like a gel medium a base to acrylic paints typically I mean that's certainly how we use it it um, and then so the light and fluffy is going to be more of a modeling paste so it has other well number one it'll have pigment in it yeah there you go and secondly it has which we don't know. I mean, that's why we use the baking soda in our mix with the U.S. art supply business. Okay, I'm going with it. That's why we put that stuff in there, because you need some kind of... What is the word I'm looking for? Because it's beyond pigment. It's like something gritty, something... Body. Body. Texture. Yeah, that, you that's... need something to hold it together and stay where you put it. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's just a uh, runny bunch of mess. I wasn't ready for that question, Lisa. <laughs> I needed better words. Oh. <laughs> More technical terms. I, I, don't I should know that. I don't want to goo up my thing here. and I'm, I watch, I'll watch. i tell you what, Judy is a clean as you go kind of girl. <laughs> she is. She's she very is. Clean and space. I, I, like I, I admire that. I, I don't necessarily have yeah. that ability. And I hope that I've covered all my notes because now I've gooped them all up. <laughs> oh, well. Say la vie. Say la vie. All right, here we go. Now, what are you putting on that gel plate? What am I putting on that gel plate? I'm putting some of this on that gel plate. All right. So this is the little one that was kind of a off. Like we cut the cut one of the plates up into some three by three squares, and then this was the piece on the end left over. Now this is this is from my twelve by twelve, which then I got cut down and then got cut down some more. Shows to tooth yeah it just takes up too much room here and it makes me feel claustrophobic when i watch it rewatch it and i just I, I i i didn't use it i mean i used it for one whole day yeah and then it sat on the shelf i 
I got some streaks in there, but I don't think that's going to, but now look how wonderful this is going to be. I can place that right where I want it. And I can see what's happening in there, which is, look at that, isn't that absolutely brilliant? I want to make sure I get a nice line over there and a nice line down here. I don't necessarily care about perfect placement perfection <laughs> perfection <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that I don't usually do I'm just gonna let this dry on here while I do the other part because I didn't really use enough of this to um, what is this enough paint to have this be really really wet but you can see it still is in a few places there but by the time I get to this next stage yeah it's it's gonna be good much a bueno yeah which one okay that's a good color I like that y'all saw how I mixed that right Mariah says I need to talk more about what I'm doing <laughs> and the, pro the problem is is when I engage the language part of my brain yeah she's then my kinetic goes straight to the hot place <laughs> good morning Becky <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing because is can I tell about what Susie said Okay. No, you may not. Oh, I can too. Come on. Okay, so she comes in from out, being outside, and I don't know what she was doing, messing around out there, and she's just sweating. She wiped her brow, and she says, Gigi, it's hot as hell out there. <laughs> just cracking up. Because that's what Gigi says. That's what I say all the time. And I just, it was just so funny coming out of her sweet little mouth. Okay. We, we discussed that that yeah. was inappropriate. All right. Now, on to bigger and better things. Look at this little three and a half inch piece of acetate, plexiglass, whatever. <laughs> Got it at the hardware store. Got it up. We're very pleased with this. This was an awesome suggestion. It was. And oh my goodness, I can't believe I did not clean this little booger. No, Look at she that. didn't. I was telling people how you clean your plates. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Well, we can talk about that for just a minute. And since it's rather small, I can do it. And Pretty quick. Horrible sound. Good I morning, apologize. Anne. I, Anne's laughing. I apologize. <laughs> well, any of you who've seen our baby online, you know, know that she's... I, I don't know. We're a little concerned about school. Yeah. Um, I, I, I told P she's going to handle those calls since she's... <laughs> created the little Gigi Jr. <laughs> they hang out a lot during the day. And She's just, spirited. And just, yes, that's it. Yes. Oh, uh, and she has ideas about how to do things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're very specific. Yeah. It's, oh, well, she's, not, she's not going to be one of those kids that kind of beats about the bush or whatever, is it? She has a very specific idea, and that's how it's going to go. Well, I know y'all joined us today to watch me wrestle with tape. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> so, you know. Riveting. Feel really your good. comments. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're feeling really good about this uh, this video here, go ahead. Just, you know, click that like button. Okay, you the... know, that's... <laughs> good canoe. Good canoe. Okay. So, there we have it. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is what color do we want to make this circle? I want it in the same family, so I picked... Arteza. And, and what is this color? Cause, and then we always called it like the, you know, it's... I don't know. It's I not gold. Put, it's not copper. It's not bronze. I always put it on here in, you know, writing. Where oh, you, it's copper. It's in the little tab. Oh, thing. okay. It's pearl, copper, gold. Yeah, now, it's like all of Yeah, the, <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> and I really, I, I'm not terribly fond of it. I do, um, <laughs> I do usually add some... Oh, what, what, some kind of filler. I usually just keep slop some gloss gel out here because I don't want to mess with anything else. To make it a little bit more translucent. Yeah. If you have, if you use yogurt and you throw away your black, and then I kind of give it a whack or two to get it back down in its neck there. Now, what she's talking about is the yogurt lid at the top there. We're very fond of yogurt and all sorts of, you know. It's really <laughs> great to use with 
your metallics because you can see it. It just shows up a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna high contrast. High contrast. Uh, this is iridescent medium, so I'm gonna put a little of that in to loosen it up a little bit. <laughs> Our, our, Did you hear the nose? Our, our, our new Robin says that she has taught her granddaughter some things that are probably not appropriate <laughs> as well. That's good. So, yeah, I guess that's just part of being a Gigi. And she's a Gigi. Oh. Well, you know, the whole thing is I, 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 I worry about the bullying. As a teacher, I, I used to deal with that. Bullying of children in school. And you've always got a mean girl. I, uh, girls are way worse than boys. Yeah. They are snotty, snide, I, I mean, you know, and what I basically used to tell them is when they walked in my door, because in junior high is when it all kind of... All right, and keep your language nice. Yes, I will. <laughs> I, I just used to say, girls, you know, I think that you think that you're the queen B, <laughs> B, but you're not. I am. I and you what, anything they 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 understood that <laughs> they got that. Just let them know at the door. <laughs> yeah, let, uh, when they walked in the door. Okay, I'm tired of that little brayer. Yeah, it takes a long time. And okay, and that really wasn't quite enough. Probably that's too much. But if we air, let us air. That's right. Goopy. Goopy, because I want it to cover clear out. I'm very much. I, I want that hard round edge there. And I probably should have cleaned that other one off. I, yeah. I hope I'm not saying I wish I had, I wish I had. I wish I had. Okay. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda. Look at this. Look at how you can place it right where you want it. Boom. And it's cool to watch that. <laughs> it, isn't that? Can, I, can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I found that. Very See that when I smush on it? Yeah, move a little bit over towards your yes, because they're perfect. Now watch. Smush. Oh. That's so wonderful. That's very satisfying. It is very satisfying. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. I wanted a suggestion. I wanted some of the white to show through, and now we've got some cool texture on this also, and this over here is not quite perfectly dry but it, it's getting there it's getting there so we'll have some lovely stuff to work with there and I'll try to do that okay I you know I pronounce impression plates impression plates how about that y'all how about that y'all we're gonna bring something some other similar ones she wanted to show you this plus because we had that done we were testing out the texture paste the new mix with the with the baking soda. Right. So then we're gonna have some similar ones because it still needs some work, but now that has to dry. So she's gonna bring those back with the others that are very similar to that as well. And I'm gonna put these over here and let those dry. And now we're gonna get into I'm, the bigger texture when plates. I'm yada yada yakking about this. Okay. Or are you now, gonna talk through these and Yeah, I'm just okay. gonna talk through these. And I, I need to I need to brayer this off. Yes. Otherwise you will be angry about that. I will be angry. Because what I noticed is that if you don't you know, I'm, I'm the world's worst brayer off. Y'all know that. I just, I don't do it. And the problem here in lies is once you decide that you <laughs> want a nice smooth brayer because that's a surface that you're going for, uh, you have this wrinkly stuff all over your brayer. <laughs> Goopers and boogers. <laughs> Goopers and boogers. And I'm not even worried about that. Um, Anne and loves the queen bee story. Does she? <laughs> I'm sure oh. none of that was shocking to, to you guys after you hung out with us a little bit. Now, those of you that are new, you here's, know, that's who we are. Here's the thing. You know, you can just throw them away <laughs> once they reach this point right here, which is this is about four or five layers. But you can also soak them, and you can get that, <laughs> and it'll come off in just like a skin. It's kind of cool. I have a stack of those over there. Okay. It does. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Y'all remember this from the other? From last, well, last couple weeks. Yeah. And remember, you know, the placement, I would, like, turn this over and put it down on the plate. And I was so frustrated because a lot of times I really wanted it, I wanted this to come down a little bit more here. And I wanted, you know, a whatever. The circle is touching the edge there. I did not want that. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's the, sol the, the solution was making those clear little, you know, like the yeah. stampers use. But we weren't going to... I didn't have, hey, uh, 
twelve dollars a piece for it, and yeah. it wasn't even the right size. Yeah, so we could. I was size gonna have these. to do something to it anyway. We've been thinking about putting this in the shop too, because I mean, you know, make a little extra off of it. Or yeah, if you don't have a husband that's gonna work and do these things for you or whatever, or you just don't want to. <laughs> okay, here's. I just I, I love this little ACT stencil. I mean, it is just. Really I awesome. love the ATC stencils. I, I do too. I, I've been using them quite a bit for tags and little spaces because then you're not like fighting this big piece. Yeah. And now that we have this clear acetate, it's it's really. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about putting I, that in I'm the I'm shop. Thinking, yeah. All right, now I want to show you this, this one simply because I did come back and do some things. Remember, we talked about Bounce. repeating our colors. So I. I um, did some purples over here, did a little bit of purple here. Brought that green back in a little bit more. Brought just with um, the the little Is that the paste? Was that the paint or the paste? That gr crazy green. I think it's paste, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it is. She makes, you know. I, I mean, think it was some paste. They're hybrids anyway. Along, yeah, because it, <laughs> it, 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 it isn't what it originally was. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then I took this stuff here. Oh, thank Which, you. Hey, Violet, we have some, uh, we got it. We got another little uh, surprise here in a bit. As soon as she starts busting out with these um, texture plates, we have, and, and I will get it listed this week. I have a couple little areas to fix on it, but just to kind of, actually, this is a good point um, to, to bring in some things that are happening, not only just with us, but with Etsy and all that. They're changing up their shipping stuff. I still haven't quite wrapped my head around all the things that are happening with it. Um, but of course the, the, that thing has taken place. I mean, that started Jan July 1st anyway. And so what we have done is turned off all the free shipping to outside the U S cause it's getting kind of crazy and I don't know exactly like how to handle all that. So anybody outside the U S is going to have to pay shipping. It isn't crazy horrible. I mean, it is pricey, but, um, it's kind of one of those things like if you're really interested reach out to me if you've watched the live streams just I will work with you on like you know depending on like how many stencils and everything that you want that sort of thing but if you're just gonna order from the shop the ability is there you can have it shipped but you're gonna pay shipping um, and, and that has to do with like all the tariffs and things it's just it's nuts um, so that's kind of the information there. We have some new stencils. I'm going to keep the 25% um, going in the shop. Should cover part of your shipping. Yeah, that should cover a little bit, make it a little more comfortable. Um, but that's kind of it. And then we have some new things coming in. I have the cups and bowls. That's the new one I think that Violet was talking about. And then we're gonna show that here in a little bit along with a new little twist of it. It will be one of those ones that you have to special request. And then one that I am going to list that's pretty fancy. So that's all I have to say about the stencils. And then if um, if one of the moderators want to drop that link in, that would be awesome to the shop. Um, you can also buy online through our website. All the stuff is always listed in both places. So there is all of that information. Yo-ho. Yo-ho. Here we go. She's painting things with the pigment while I'm hammering on. I love this stuff. <laughs> she you know, I really, like if you have some old crappy nail, nail polish that you don't really like, <laughs> that that you can stuff out. The reason I, I love using this, though, because that little brush, you don't have to, you know, I'm fumbly. I, I don't, I'm not exact, but I can hit those raised areas and I can, I can do it. Oh, good morning, Heather. Sorry, a, some, a new, new person that snuck in. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Heather. Okay, so why did I need the yellow? And it isn't exactly the same color as this yellow over here. But that this, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's in the family. And, <laughs> you know, clear across here, who, who knows? I can come back in and put some yellow on top of the pink in yeah. a couple of places, and then that's going to be more of the, have that peachy tone that this does over here. Yeah. But anyway, I just want to show you that. wanted to remind you about this and using your if you, you have a, a point or a place that you do not want emphasized that is emphasized because it's too bright and light you always have the option of coming in with some Did mucky you muck mucky muck hashtag mucky muck mucky muck color 
<laughs> to dull it out. And it, it's funny for those of the, you that are in the group and have noticed that, you know, we're starting to use that hashtag, Mucky Muck. Yeah. I like it. I like it okay. a lot. It applies to many things that we do. And That's, he likes to use the word, so. I do. I, I like I like the onomatopoeia uh, of it. Onomatopoeia. Is it yeah. paya? Pia? I, I think it's pay. I don't know. Pia. Mm. Yeah, Whatever. Some people say. All right, here, look. Exemplars, <laughs> nothing else needed. Okay. I'm really glad I write myself notes because I think I'm going to remember, but a lot of times I won't. I, I'm... Uh, this thing down the middle is what I envision as being the center part of whatever you're folding, so I am not even concerned about that. I think that both sides of this are done. Yeah. Was that the fade that... Oh, this is some of my coffee texture paste. Yeah, one of the ones that we did with the kind and of blended... And it doesn't blended. have anything on it. Notice, Robin, it isn't flaking yet. Yet. <laughs> It's been a couple weeks. Yeah. It's still holding I, I, together. I, I kind of think maybe it's not once going it's, to. Once it's mixed in with that other paste, it really did well. Remember, oh, it I was had your to original. Add some more. Yeah. Yes, because it was just crackly and flaky. Well, it, yeah, it was like the coffee was kind of taken over. It, it absorbed all the other stuff and didn't allow any bonding. To... And depending on what grind you use on your <laughs> coffee, we fine, use fine. You? Yeah. Uh, you know, you can make your lumps a little bigger by just not <laughs> grinding quite so much. Yeah. All right. So here was a gel plate that was interesting, but just I felt needed something. And one of the things that I did while I was uh, making this texture plate, because I didn't have the leaf, is I, this is a brush off. Now, granted, I did go really thick to make the texture plate. Yeah. The impression plate. So there was still quite a bit there. Quite a bit on there. Then this is the where I take the... Um, the wipe off. And rub it off and clean off, finish cleaning off the Maybe plate. Maybe we should really start a glossary of terms and things yeah. so people can check All back. All right, well, here is the new one. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't that beautiful? So when Mariah brought this to me. Oh, it was so funny. I was going... What? I, that looks familiar. Where, I, 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 I just can't... <laughs> Is this something I did? Did I do this? <laughs> and she's gone, oh my god, mother, really? Well, it's from a drawing, but she's changed she changed it up so much and made it work for a stencil that I recognized the, the shapes were yeah, generally they, there, but and some of you that have received happy mail or orders from us will also recognize it because it's the one I've been using on the envelope for some of the recent orders. And one of the people that one of the People that ordered some stencils said, I really like that. Do you have that in a stencil? I said, well, no, because um, really it's from the Grayscale printables that that is in there. Yeah, it's black and white. And so I was like, well, that, that's a good little challenge. Well, let's see how I can work this uh, magic. I still have a little air, couple areas that P found when she's putting on the paste that need some work. Yeah, but I'm going right to get this up this week. Yeah, right there. I, I just cut those out and that's just a solid spot. And it really is not that big of a deal. Yeah. It's just that when I would bring my knife across I think it, especially since it's right there in the corner. Yes. Kind of starting point. If it really... had been out there in the middle or something, it probably yeah. wouldn't have presented a problem at all. Because, I mean, there are some out there, but they, they didn't. Right. And you don't knew, know that until you... I know that Violet. I, I was saying that it really reminded me of those very ornate saddle, like you'll see, tooled, tooled, especially on that print. Um, it, it just the colors and everything really kind of made my brain go there for sure. I, I think that it, depending on what you did with it, it really has so many possibilities as far as its overall feel like the pattern lends itself to many types of you know whether it's kind of southwesty or aztec or yes many motifs yeah i can even see see it being a little bit um, art nouveau oh yeah if you just keep it in that black and white you know that's really where i yeah. went with it yeah so yeah Okay, another impression plate that we will be do, you, working with today is... Robin, that one will be in the shop. Yeah, it isn't right now, but it will be. So if you want to talk after a live stream, we might work out some things um, about all of that. Robin knows what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> New Robin. <laughs> uh, this, this one on this side is not done. This one over here, I don't know yet, so I'm going to put it IDK. Well, and this was crazy, so... 
he has had that bamboo thing that I, I, I'm sure that many of you that are here have seen. Um, numerous times. Numerous times. But we've had that forever. And then I was just asking her, I was like, I need something to post. I don't really have anything that's, you know, kind of new and exciting. So she's like, here, this is kind of laying around. And, I mean, people have just gone nuts over it. And then she's like, yeah, what happened to my bamboo stencil? Like, so it was stuck behind something else. <laughs> so, you know, we're bringing that one back around. If that you, one is in the shop. If you don't dry your stencils completely, <laughs> before guess, you put them together, they get married. Yeah. And then they, you know. Yeah. And, and, and sometimes they don't play well together. They're in the stucky pile. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here is, and I don't know if Susan, she, oh boy, I'll tell you what, she's just missing out. Missing out. Keep this is a clean it. off. Of, and you won't really see what's happening you can't there till see I it right now. gel plate over the top of it. That's going to be an exciting one, so keep your eyes open for that. This poor little thing. I just I, I don't know what we're going to do to this, but something. <laughs> and here we go again. There's its friend. Look it's at that. Friend. And I'm going to put this in the pile over here to do because I want this is the clean off side. Oh, good morning, Sharon. I'm so oh, glad Sharon. you made it. Yes. You're going to have to tell. tell uh, Susan that we were talking about her once again. Yes, please tell her she every she's time. missing out. And look at this green, Susan. <laughs> I love this one. I don't, like, that other this one. Is, this is from the little impression Yes. Place. We remember you when know, we remember these Are we stuff? actually going to get to that? I don't know. Let's speed this up. I'm getting, like, are, are you I'm getting, getting antsy here. See, she, she keeps telling me that I don't wait long enough. All right, this poor little thing. Yeah. It's just been around forever, but I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to make something's it. Something's going to happen today. Something's going to happen today. Might be in the last five minutes of the, the theme. It might be. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I'm very, very proud of this one. And I, I don't. It probably, Which one? Both of them. Together. Well, I don't necessarily think they, <laughs> they're happy together, but maybe. But separate, I think yeah. they're lovely. They are. This is. A lot of area that didn't get printed because it had mapping. Yeah. We're going to call it mapping from now. I don't it know what Fran is it today. It had but. mapping on it, and it was not. This, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the texture that's on Hold this? Hold it more to the side. and then I mean, this thing has, like, I kid you not, like this much lift off. <laughs> and what it is is it's, it's a flop. It, it's... I'd put the black texture paste on it, and then I flopped this down on a clean piece of paper. And this is the or, Crafters Workshop, straight out of the, I guarantee yeah. you, because how black it is and how why it did what it did. And, and there's there's lumpy bumpies. And it's a little bit shiny. And a little bit. And it's picking up some of that gold stuff, and I don't really know exactly. I don't know. Just do not know. Anyway, I, I consider this done. That's the one in the done pile. Here's a brayer off, <laughs> and a. Uh, whenever I didn't have anything I wanted to put it on when I was cleaning my mm -hmm. thing, my uh, stencils, the, I'd put it down here, and this this is it. So it, it'll get that's some the more. wipe off sheet. <laughs> that's the wipe off sheet. I don't, I don't know about that one. But sometimes that's you know that's how that bamboo one started. Now I'm going to put this over in the pile to use with my two by six inch. What, the mounted. one that she used in the very beginning. Yes. Because Mariah and I both decided, okay, we need to repeat the green. Yeah. And this is what's nice. If you have used up all of your white, but you still need to use, to bring in another lighter color, what you do is you either add colored modeling paste, yep. or you go white and you... you uh, and the brown stuff there is the coffee. Yeah. Somebody you asked about that? that in one of the groups the other day. Awesome. Yeah, hmm. and this is yeah, this is the coffee. It's it's very scratchy. You, you don't want to be rubbing around on it because it can get you. <laughs> it can get you. And this one I'm handing off to Mariah because what I did is I came in with my little turquoise. Well, and this is also the one that I had already done some spray stuff to. No, that's not the color. But I thought I was also going to do that on the other one. But she's going to use her new things because she now knows it works. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm gonna, I want I want you to make this happen here. Okay, I can do that. That's what I would like. We'll do that towards the end. So remind me, sprays, those of you that love seeing the, the spray and action. I'm going to gel print over this, but then I'm going to hand it off to Mariah to do some of her wonderful turquoise around the edge here. Bring the two pieces together. 
bring the two pieces together because that'll make it a good composition. But I do want to hit some of this with yellow so that this comes and to I'm, this end and this goes to that end. Is that light and fluffy or is that? Um, I can't. I uh, think it's, it's a wipe I think off. So. It, it, it's a rub off and I do think it's light and fluffy because there's a big glob of it right okay. there. Okay. So there we go. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing anything to this right now because I'm just kind of loving on it. Yeah, we're loving on those. Uh, you know, I may change my mind at some point. You did make an impression plate, though, for it, right? Or no? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. I've got an impression plate for that. All right, but we're not going to... Are, we're we, there? Gonna... Are we starting the impression plate? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> this is like a two-year-old. Okay, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not going to start that but I promise you I won't go through this whole whole pile I just I want <laughs> Anne's been pushing more coffee on her mom in the morning so that way she can have more coffee grounds <laughs> well nice. it, 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 that's, that's funny I like that yeah okay well and, and remember that your variety of grinds creates different texture yes <laughs> the quality of so, your bean really <laughs> yeah has a, an, an effect on <laughs> All right, we're bringing back in this. And I really, you know, I'm kind of hesitant to use this because it's not even going to show up here. Probably but not. composition-wise, I'm not loving this because it's integrated here in the middle. But I don't have, and I have some tan on this end, but I need some green stuff on this end. And I think this started out as a... It was a wipe-off because this is a flip-flop. Yeah, of, of a stencil, so she was model she was using the stencil paste the black stuff flopped it over to a piece of paper then she did gel printing i think yeah no no gel so printing gel first printing was i see first. that layer yep because you wouldn't be able to then this is an opaque layer so i know that there we go yeah okay i don't I, the reason i'm going to go through these i will come back to that but i want to get one that i can see i, I want to be able to see my pattern that i've got going on there and we could send you some. We, we could send Ann some coffee grounds. Oh, yeah. Or a 14 have, cup or I around here. I have some. Is Lisa there? Lisa, are you there? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I ordered some little uh, one ounce jars. Yeah, because we're going to send some stuff her way, too. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we could send the little. I'm just not seeing anything here that is really going to show up. With your. With my. Yeah, you need some. Where are those um, maroony ones? There, well, there. What's that? Use that. This? Yeah. Okay. I think that. I think that might work. There's Izzy Scribbles. <laughs> she put that in the pile. She said, so wanted me to do something with that. <laughs> She's very. I, I just, I just I said she has there. ideas. She has ideas. Okay. And I think you're right because, Mariah, I think what I will do is I will take and do another opaque. Uh, oh, yeah, you'll have to let us know how the, the, the Folgers works out. She says she's good. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I don't, I want, I'm, not, I'm being very specific here. Are you? Because I want enough, I might have to bring out my mixing thing. And this is what I do when I don't have, if I want opacity, And um, I, I know that this is very, very sheer. Yeah. It, it's very transparent because, I, I, you know, that's one of the ones. So I'm going to take a little of my... Oh, and who was it? That... Lisa. Lisa was telling us about... They had them for 54 cents, the apple barrel stuff on and Amazon. I mean, you know, I'll tell you what, this toasted marshmallow... And she loves it. They need to make this in a larger size. I had to, I ordered two of them though because these were on sale for ninety five cents a piece. You really need Costco versions of certain products. <laughs> they need to work that out. Or like, if I could send our stuff in refills, that would be cool too. Like, okay, and really, you should. I don't, have, I'm worried about that. Worried about what? What you're mixing there? Oh, well, I, I kind of am too. <laughs> Honestly, all honesty. honestly, in all honesty. <laughs> so you check your opacity because once you, boy, I'll tell you what I have learned by messing up 
here, why don't you check on one of these? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Lucky there. And then we are not okay. wasting it and not making squares. Look at that. <laughs> it's called okay. a win-win. <laughs> I think that that's going to be a good one. Yeah, all right. Well, don't. Oh, don't goodness. On the cart. Just putting it up there. It's going to stick to things. No, I don't think so. It's just the can of pencils. <laughs> Oh, and then, um, so Lisa did this awesome video about the shibori dye. So then after the video, Lisa, I was thinking about it. What you should do is get yourself like a glass jar, like juice or something like that. Because that's like pea's water bottle that we bring up and down the stairs would be perfect because it's nice and wide, but then it's slick. Because I did watch the other ladies, um, a bit of her video, um, but I think that will make the process go a wee Ooh. bit faster and you'll have more scrunch. Just some ideas. I'm loving this already. And I love the fact that we get to watch it squish. <laughs> squish! Squish! <laughs> Did you see that gel pit go? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I know, but see, I still have my stuff left on there. Well, I don't know. I don't this either. Is, okay, this I is think not your strong suit. I'm just, you know, I don't yeah. know. Pulling these dried prints is tricky business. It is pull, pulling these things is a tricky business, and I think I've probably got enough on there. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take my extra paper that I have over here with circles on it. This is the circle paper. This is the circle paper. This is us cleaning up. <laughs> It'll off end my... up being something someday. Yeah, I Check back be. in six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that purple I do one like over that there. purple one too. I was like, that's nice. Now that's. Right. Oh, see, now she has the good stuff on the other side. See, I'll tell you what. I don't know. <laughs> you know what the problem was? What? Because you were doing it over paint. It didn't have anything to grab to. It and needed I, to be I was beat. not being patient enough to leave it on there long enough for it to grab its other friend. Hey, but you know what? I still like this. I like that. Hey, it highlighted I, I, some stuff there that I was like, wow, where did that even come from? Yeah. So that's interesting. It's not a... Yeah, this is when I was like doing scrapey marks and... That was during the um, transparent black. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, there you go. And I really stuck with my transparent black. I, I was very proud of myself. Okay, well, transparent we're gonna white. Gonna... She's still angry at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Dude, this is so funny. It is uh, funny. Uh, she laughed. I did a little bit. <laughs> I did a little bit. Okay, this one definitely needs something, but I'm thinking circles. What do you think? I'm, I'm ready for impression plates, but that's me. Okay, folks, are, are you are you with me on this? You want to see a little bit more of... stampy circle business? See, she she found something. She has a new toy, and this is the problem. She's like all about the new little ass or the you know the plexiglass acetate, and that's not acetate, acrylic. Man, I need a list of plastic products so I know the grades. Look at that great looking. I just love that. That is a good color. Okay. It's kind of like um, butter. It's like a very pretty butter. Okay, now I watch people put a tiny little amount out there, and then they smush it around, and then they end up picking most of it up off their brayer. Now, I granted, there's probably more there than I need, but I do have some stuff underneath it. Okay, now see, I do not want to go anymore because I'm starting to see the underneath part of it. Okay, now where are we going to put this? Well, yeah, I like that better. I like that and better. And those marks that are kind of heading in, yep. Put it right there. Yep. A little off center, perfect. And we want to press. And look, can you see the other stuff that's there? I'm hoping that comes <laughs> off. Lisa says. I'm hoping she's that being, comes off. She's been very diplomatic. I would like to see those impression plates. LOL. <laughs> but watching pee with her circles is fun, too. <laughs> oh, you're a sweetheart. Oh, look at that. Now, I still have some on here. But I do. I love that. Oh, and think. then, yeah, it pulled off some little things there, too. That's cool. Yeah, some of those lines. Look at, look at that. That's almost impression plate-ish. Because, yeah. you know, the... What was already down is leaving marks on the 
Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just pull that off. Um, I'll, I'll show you how you do that. I don't know what they're doing next I, door. I got, really, like I got really tired of squeezing my stupid tubes <laughs> that had a little tiny bit of this and a little tiny... So I just mushed all of them together. This is the Liquitex Golden... Well, <laughs> the two different... It's actually three. Because it was a really old Liquitex. A semi-old Liquitex. And the Golden. And the Golden. Titan and Buff. Titan Buff, and I, I don't know, one of them was dark what... Titan Buff, and one of them was light Titan Buff, and yada yada, you know, whatever. So, this is, you know, light and dark Titan Buff together. <laughs> a Liquitex Golden mixture. Ooh, I like that idea. I might make a really cool tag. I'm always thinking about things in terms of tags. I don't know why. I just like making them. I don't do anything with them. We have and a this is tag cool shrine. too because I can see <laughs> if it's starting to pull. You know, if it's mm -hmm. if it's going to come off of there, and it's not. You got your top layer. We'll, we'll just make barbells. <laughs> Shaking everything up. Oh, a little. That's all right. There you go. We got some more of it off. Yeah, it's still. I think that mixing those paints may have created some oh, well, weirdness. Anytime you have a <clears throat> metallic paint, you can just bet your sweet bippy that that is going to stick. <laughs> you can bet your sweet bippy. Notice I'm using nice language. She Mariah. is. Bippy. I like that. Hashtag Bippy. <laughs> okay, a little bit. Now we got, we're kind of creating a cool composition here. Well, uh -oh. I'm liking this. All right, all right. She loves I'm, her circles. I, I made it through. I'm going to play that Belinda the Carlisle song. Here's the rest of my pile, Lisa. <laughs> circles in the sand. Okay, here, I, I'm going to flip through them so that you'll, you'll be able to see them. I watched somebody do this. Oh, well, they must have had them all lined up. Yeah, your, your, your alignment is terrible. <laughs> i give that a, a five. There you go. That was good. Those are some good ones. I haven't seen some of those in a while. Oh, this is because they're ancient. Yeah. They need work. That they need work. Pretty good one. But nobody wants to see that right now. So we'll Oh, just... these were your circle pile? This is my circle. Circle and... Well, maybe we can bring it back hand. around. I would like us just to get into the impression plates for the people. Remember, that was the yeah. was part of the title. All right. <laughs> I, I, I want, to, want to show you what I've, what I've got going Violet on. says put the, the pounding technique. Put that in, in the P's terminology list. Yes, Bippy. <laughs> They're loving Bippy. Oh, hi, Sharon. You popped in. Hello. No problem. You guys were up late. Okay, well, this is just starting from where we were last week. All right, I'm going to mark my thing at 58 minutes. We were finally doing some impression plates. It's fine. Circles. I'm going to, I'll rename and, and let people know. Okay. Put some. All right, so I've got this stack, which is all related to uh, things that we, we did or, mm -hmm. you know, last week. Uh, and I'm not even going to go through that. All right, so this is what I did this last week, and I do have impression plates for each of these. But I wanted to go ahead, do one side where I pulled a stencil. This has a little bit on it, but I'm hoping that we can get some more. This is not the most interesting one, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so Heather wants to know what we do with all of them. Well, Heather, that is a very good question. <laughs> we're still... I, that's suggestions. My that's my legacy to my daughter. <laughs> suggestions. Right now they get filed, and there's piles of, you know, I don't knows, and these are really cool. And if you want some of these, let us know. We love sending out some happy mail. Yeah, we do. Um, I am trying to cut back a little bit on postage. It's, it's been getting a little out of hand. But um, we do love to send them out. Petra has been wonderful. She's making journals and books and things she'll even we, we've sent some to her digitally so yeah i mean we're, we're doing 
mostly what we do with them internally, like if we are actually making something, is turning them into tags. Um, we haven't gotten to a journal yet. Um, well, that's not true. I sort of have a thing in the works, but waiting on that. But yeah, you know, journal pages and just all sorts of things. <laughs> and actually, oh, I, I'm... I'm going to go through, I, I have one in the works, but the problem is, is I always have another project with Mariah that I get sidetracked with. Yeah. And don't get any, anything I done. I think once, um, once Izzy starts school, we'll have a bit more time to get into some of these bigger projects because, you know, he takes care of Izzy all day and then we spend a lot of our extra time gearing up for the live stream, making sure that we have all these stacks ready and... You know, we are somewhat organized. We feel like... <laughs> I feel like... We feel like we are. Like ultra. Yeah. But that sort of thing. Um, so I think, yes, we're going to be getting into the journal making. I'm going to try to do what I had said about, like, possibly going to do a... Either, I don't know, every day, but maybe two or three times a week later in the evenings doing a live stream. And that's maybe where we use these for journal making and such. So there you go. That was the That was the long of it. Oh, okay. Now, can I? I, I oh, yes. Ahead. Look at that. Right. Did you see that? Okay, this is the new version of, of bowls. cups and bowls. Yes. Or, or caps and bowls. Well, I actually called it all three. Cups, caps, and bowls. Cups, <laughs> caps, and bowls. There you go. It has. This is broken. Broken cups, caps, and bowls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the impression plate on this side. So you see, this is the stencil. This is going to be the impression plate. Okay? Everybody got what we're doing here? Oh, Sharon, yeah, it's cold there. I think, Sharon, you're in Australia, right? I believe. Um, yes, digitally. And eventually I'm going to possibly make those into sets available on Etsy and on our shop. It's just, it takes a lot of working and, and I just get so nervous about the colors and, you know. I have things that I think about that are probably overthinking. Oh, I think that, overthinking. that would be a good one, but we're going to keep going with Keep going. All right, here are the impression plates, y'all. Oh, there's bamboo. Bamboo's new on an impression plate. Yeah. It's an old stencil. Look, look at, at that, that, baby. Love that. That looks so cool. See, huh. even it looks so different there. There's I the know. Broken cup it it does because of the contrast. Okay, so the, there we here's are. my... Impression plate. And those of you that don't know, so these are, it's just black chipboard, right? It's, yeah, I can't remember what brand. Is it the 40, 45 um, or 48 or it just something says, like that? It just says medium. Oh, because you got the, yeah, bigger pack this last time. Yeah, so it's just chipboard, black chipboard. Works great because then you can see it. Now, obviously, once you start gel printing with it, it will change and alter. And the whole idea is that eventually, when it gets to a point where maybe you're not getting the impressions off of it that you once did, you can use it as a journal cover, turn it into ATCs, really cool you know, tags. You can yeah. cut it up. You can, and what do you call that machine you punch holes in it and then put wire on it? Um, yeah, you can wire bind them. Um, ours is called a Zutter. There are different ones, but we have a Zutter from our very good friend Christy. My very good friend Christy. Um, but yeah, make it into a journal cover. There you go. Yeah. Yes, Robin, we made these. These are from our stencils using light and fluffy. Okay, I, I'm mixing up a little here and I, I, I apologize for having to mix colors here, but you know, other than going through and each one and deciding, I. And I, I, I want semi-opaque. Have you noticed that I'm... And a lot of her jars are very transparent. They're very. So if I put them on there, it's it's going to be really... You're not... It, it's not going to knock back the purple. And that's the goal. So I'm hoping that this is going to do it, and I'm hoping that I don't mess it so up. So chipboard with light and fluffy. Um, light and fluffy is the texture paste from the Crafter's Workshop. That's what, when we say light and fluffy, that's what we're talking about. That actual product. Yeah. Texture paste. That's the name of it. That's the name of it, light and fluffy. And then, yes, we just use our stencils. 
you get good loft there. I tell you what, watch uh, Lisa uh, and how she, should, yeah, yeah, watch Lisa. She's a pro at getting some oh, loft man. out of some. Now she buys thicker stencils, some of the ones that she uses for her cover. Um, but you can get some pretty good loft and pull if you just do it just right, leave it alone, and then you've got an impression plate. Okay, now this is when I really wish that these were. <laughs> she needs a bigger, maybe we just need to get, because you could flip it. Yeah. All right, now what I'm doing here, you can get different effects by how you push on this. If you push a lot, it's going to suck up a lot of the paint on two, which I want to do in this case, because I want just a very, I want a thin, no worries, Marianne. I know you guys were up late. Okay, now and, I can see how cool that's already looking too. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So see, look at that for a cover. Isn't that awesome? I mean, you could put three or four more colors on. Yes, it. Sharon and Marianne. Um, we spent kind of the beginning of. In fact, that's how we started the live stream today. Is going over how we created and our thoughts and ideas and everything behind the U.S. Art Supply plus the baking soda mixture. So, check okay. back. I, I don't really love this. I don't hate it. I don't like that it's all I dulled out. I think it's out. just another layer. And we're just going to, I'm going to have to come back in mm -hmm. with just some, you know, whatever. And I'm really glad it didn't pick all that up because I think we can use that someplace Hey, I, when you turn it to the side, you can see some cool things happening there. See? But because of that opaqueness, this is our it gripe just about went a opaque. little bit too much. Needed a little bit more. Yeah, dulls stuff it out. In it. But isn't this cool looking? That's awesome. I, I really. Now don't. one of the things I'm going to do with that stencil. So this is one of the other ones that I am not going to make available in the shop. You must request it after watching the live stream here. Um, you can order the regular cups, caps, and bowls. Um, you can get. I have it all set up like with the other sets. You can get them individually, you can get them as, you know, you, you get the ATC, the A7, the, you know, all the different sizes and variations and things of that nature. If you want this one, you must order this and then say, I want the broken version in the comments. Because I'm not going to list it, because it's not for everyone. It's not. Okay. <laughs> now, um, it, are, are my people that love the, the map? <laughs> I haven't seen Fran. Fran's our big map. She here today? Map friend. No, but Fran, snooze you lose, girl. All yeah, right, we have some lovers of the the broken areas, which we have now deemed maps. Map effect on your gel plate. Yes, it, it's where you haven't cleaned it off, and you start getting smooshy bits. And after a while, the smooshy bits just Grow. turn up as a big blank chunk, chunk of white torn out of your your paper. So, I think that we're going to take, and I think that this will be interesting, I'm going to add a little bit of my translucent on top of this. Yep. And the nice thing about that chalky paint stuff, That's right, Robin. I mean, we really do. Like, those of you that show up here, watch our live streams, and interact in the chat, I, I think that it's important that we have something special for you guys. Um to be able to go into the shop and, and get something that not everybody else is aware of. I you think know, that's cool. I don't, I don't really know that that's going to do anything, so I'm going to try something else. Flip flops rocks. Flop rocks. She didn't show that one because you weren't going to be able to see much of it because it was the white paste on white because we ran out of the black chipboard at that point. <laughs> yeah, but I did order more. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get, get rough. rough with it. And then you want to not dilly dally and get it down there because that this paint has retardant in it. That paint does not. Does not. Oh yes. Oh. Well, that looks I, so pretty, lovely with the blue. I'm, Carrie would love this. I don't know where Carrie is today. Yeah, I don't know where Carrie is either. She's usually there. All right, so I'm going to take this while I've got this. And I'm going to um, share it anywhere, um, either on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Just message me. I'm always around. 
on the yeah, social don't, media. Don't message me no. because I might. <laughs> and then <laughs> she said her best. Yeah. I think I have 5,000 emails. Okay. I don't need to discuss that. I email. haven't cleared out. I just use Mariah's yeah, email address. Yeah, she has address. things to send to me now. <laughs> I really and Becky, do. Becky's mother does that to her, too. <laughs> when I really, you know, I'm, I'm wanting them to call and, or, or to or if email it's an order and let me really... know that there's some problem with the order or something, yeah. I always put Mariah's down on, the, on Um, the... So, phone cord work. Yeah, like, I think that that would probably be fine and be nice and lightweight. Now, you may want to be careful with that just because if you do start to press on it, you might get cracks with it. Nice thing Ooh. about the chipboard is that it's heavy weight enough, but it's, you know, dense and thin enough that you can really get some good push on it. Yeah. I think maybe with the foam board, you might have some issues with that. I don't think this is probably going to do a whole lot <laughs> Okay, Carrie is here. She's multitasking. All right, she's on Zoom and or Skype. All right, I love that about her. She's she's handling she things. Changed my mind. What did you change your mind about? Well, I was going to put it on top of the blue, but I don't think it was really no. because of the sheerness of the paint. I don't think it was going to do it, and I think this is going to be quite lovely. Ooh. Now here's the okay yeah th kind of walk me through that because I'm curious if that's this really is this. really this cool white. looking but see be, you're seeing the yellow and you're getting some kind of the messy gooey stuff from the other ones yeah. see it's just still on there but I I, I think that that's really wonderful okay perfect for sharing that, that that's awesome okay now we're gonna go a little bit darker. Carrie's Pardon? here now properly. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Carrie. She she was handling like two different things, but she was kind of here. And then I missed, I guess, where she had said that. I'm trying to watch chat, but you know how it goes. Okay. Point with a little bit darker. This isn't a whole lot darker. But... Ooh, is it? What number is this? And those of you that are 16. new. 16. This is our guide. It's downloadable through the Facebook group, or you can go out to our website um, in the products area. It's free. You just have to download it. Um, but if you want to know how to sort of get to these colors, obviously, it's much like everything else that we do. This is not a recipe to, you know, precision. These are suggestions. And a lot of times you can apply it to whatever products you have. If now, I are, think I've got enough on there if yeah. I can get it off. And I'm seeing the swirl still there, so I'm pretty excited about this. And then we, we will move on to another part. Oh, hello, Nettie. I, I don't know. Yeah, she... Okay. Awesome. Welcome. Got lots of new people here today. So exciting. Well, I didn't get as much as it's, I wanted, but you can see down here on subtle. this end. Yeah. <laughs> subtle. I'll probably... But I love this end. Yes. Just not loving this. Okay. I, I really need to... Uh, you need to amp it up. I need to pull what I've got here and get rid of it. And Move along to a different color palette. Yeah. Now, thinks. I could keep doing this, but mm -hmm. the reason I would like it to be kind of a... I, I want to, you to see the impression. Ah, perfect. Place. Thanks, Lisa. So, I want to get rid of what I've got on my plate. So, Lisa dropped a link to the, to the guide. Thank you, ma'am. And I do think that it is... I mean, I did update that. Updated. That's, yeah, it's the most... I, and I really... I, I didn't mix sure. any new new paints this last week, so... <laughs> How about that? Okay, here we go. Creating a new... <laughs> now, the reason I do not want to put this on anything is because in order to pull this, I'm using a totally opaque Titan buff which has been squeezed out of the tubes and dug out of the tubes with this fancy little thing which I really you know life I hate tubes yeah I just fight them they, they, they get they knock over it's just we, we love yeah. the little jars the little jars are the bomb diggity and you can mix your own paints and save a lot of paint and save a lot of paint okay well that's yeah you still got some yeah, stuff there there's Ooh. some Keeps on giving. Keeps on giving. 
and um, I'll just go ahead I'll just use the other side of this paper here and we'll just create another nice background background <laughs> I only have about 500 million of those but the other thing is once that if you want to get this stuff pulled off the plate it's not a great idea to use your already painted on yeah that's why I was saying earlier when she did that one I was a little suspect whether it was going to pull properly and I think that had something to do with it plus the amount like the paint hadn't dried up like there has to be enough stickiness there to make the contact or I, just, uh, you I know. don't know if this is going to make any difference or not but I want to do it she did wonky net there wonky She's... net <laughs> I, I don't know that that's going to and it's probably really not there where it's already wet can you see how the paper's kind of wrinkling up there no oh. was it that wet and you still got some more to go there I know, but look at that. Ooh, you can it's subtle, but what's cool about things like this, especially if it's a first layer pull, and we say this all the time, is that yep. you can come in with sprays later on and put in color there if you want, and then put another layer on. That's, you know, one way to create layers without having to wait for all the, you know, stuff to dry, is that you can pull the print, put it off to the side, let it dry, come back, then do more layers on top. And, and layer it in that way versus trying to get everything on the plate because that timing is very tricky and so that's kind of especially what we try to do during the live streams so you guys see more progression Ooh, that's kind of interesting yeah I think it's getting there yeah all right uh, that's it's not perfectly clean but I think it's it, it's good enough <laughs> good, 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 good. okay Hashtag. So, <laughs> now we've still got some more wall prints here anything um as so mariah said let's let's go into and get a little bit darker going here so that we can really kind of see what's oh and so she, she has um she now has her great aunt's recipe file it's a bit like the paint recipes <laughs> <laughs> such as boil a good long while <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. a pinch of this a pinch of this and i do think three fingers is actually a measurement you know, from the 1500s. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know that for sure. Somebody help me out there. Come on, Robin. Yeah, come on, Robin. Come on, Robin. We're counting on you. Yeah, see, we, we have the same problem. Like, whenever you see Pam Artist Studio in any chat or whatever, that's, that, that's me. That's never her. She doesn't know how to log in there anyway. P is Patricia Carmichael. That, that's who she is. That's all that she can be. It's awesome. That's all we need her to be. Because <laughs> trying to get her to log in, I've tried to explain it to her, but it just she's like, no. I'm like, well, just, you know, make sure that you're being nice when you're being Patricia out there in the world. And that's so rude. Of course I will be. Okay, I'm loving that. I love that. that. Okay, so now, unfortunately, that is not one that is available. That is a test run, you know, when we were figuring out stencils. This is the one that's related to my string. <laughs> These are a little embarrassing because it's like us trying to figure out what areas are going to cut. And let me tell you. I don't, you know, I just think it turned out really super. Yeah. I, I really, I love it. Okay, I, I need some, I need some darker stuff going on here. Okay, so uh, if you use the sprays and then try to do more pulls, does that mess up the sprays? No, because the sprays have dried in the areas on yeah, so in I, the paper. Because usually what I do is like kind of sponge it around anyway, and it just pushes to the area where there's actually exposed paper. Now, it will, certain sprays will sort of reactivate some of the paints, making them a little bit sticky, a little tacky, um, depending on the brand isn't true of all of them but you know those are just some things and then you know let it dry and you're good to go now I've never noticed that we need what? to try that out like if we've sprayed something heavily and it's still setting on top of acrylic dried paint and it's dried is that gonna pull is, or is um, it gonna leave some of that on the plate I would assume that it would depending again on the product yeah. and how well it dries I, I, I... I don't know that. And how much pigment's in it. You know, those are all variables that are, I find, very interesting. Have to work that one out. Stay tuned, y'all. 
<laughs> Another. I, I actually, I really, I, I just love this. Oh, so Robin, of course, um, original Robin, Robin Alcor. It's used in some recipe books with the three pinch finger yeah, thing. Yeah, all right. So Thank she was you. I love validation. <laughs> In some aspect of life because that's basically how I, I cook number one right now we don't even have any any teaspoons or anything in our because Izzy's run off with them yeah look at that folks alrighty is that not beautiful I just put my thumb right there and I've got a note but everyone will always know that that's me because my mm -hmm. thumbprint is right, right there, there. But look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. Yes, that's... Okay, so which paint did you end up putting down on that one? That's at uh, number 15. <laughs> it's a mixture of things. Thank God we have this on video. This is why. Like, I just can't <laughs> leave her alone. <laughs> okay, I think it was 15 with some... Hey, did y'all notice my new... Diazanine purple in high flow acrylic. I love this stuff. And when you put it with this kind of yellow stuff, you're getting a, yeah. this lovely, I, I mean, you know, come on, folks. That color has got to just send you into proxims of joy and jubilation. Wow, jubilation. <laughs> and now we've we got can this bust out in song in any moment. Funny little square thing there, which... Uh-huh. Yeah, well, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so when we talk about coffee, we were actually talking about, because we, we grind our beans, but um, I don't know, well, Anne's, Anne, sounds like Ann's going to do some, some Folgers stuff, so let us know. I don't know. It's like straight out of the can? Yeah. I mean, and I, that I think was, once you brew it, whatever's left over is... That yeah. was way too much of the purple. I like it, though. But, paint, just too much paint. Yeah. Loving the color. Loving the color. So a little bit of 15 and some. Yeah. Here we go. Some of the new purple. Ooh. I'm excited about this. Yeah, you do need to put down something and push on this. <laughs> That's where I said. She said, well, Mom, why don't you just go ahead and use the backs of those? Well, the problem is, is that when you're pressing on it and rubbing around on it like this, it's, it's kind of hard on your hand. Oh, the, the chipboard? Yeah. Because it has a little texture to it. Well, yeah. No. And, then you, and then when you, when you're rubbing on the this oh yeah okay she, she's not making any more double-sided ones <laughs> that was no a bad thought. that was a bad idea <laughs> good for space saving and, and bad for you know sa use. saving of materials yes Ooh, lucky there that's some awesomeness. I'm very excited about that. Look at that awesomeness right there, oh. right over there where it kind of squished out. That's what you get with the impression plates that you do not get with the stencils. And I'm, I'm so happy that that occurred. Okay. Oh, Sharon keeps some instant in, in a bottle with a touch of vinegar to use as like a spray. What is it? To use like as a spray. Instant coffee with a little bit of vinegar. Oh. Okay, here's another tube. Ooh, that is some blue. This is oh, yeah, the tube. Liquitex Translucent Cobalt Blue. I got so tired of squeezing that out of that dead gum tube. And anyway, it, it like totally blurped out at her anyway. Oh, and it had some, some runny stuff. Yeah. Because well, it was really old. It needed to be I think mixed that, up again. This is some stuff. My husband is also an artist, and I think it's actually from his stash. So you know how old it is. But, i tell you what, that tube of paint was $19. Oh, I just used our little, um, our little guillotine cupboard. But, tell you what, this thing, though, he's not happy right now. He's got a spot on him that... What is it? Our guillotine cutter. Oh, our guillotine? Guillotine, there we go. I knew that didn't sound right, but... I lost Some my paper. And mauve. I don't know. Now, see, I'm covering it up with this other yes. thing because I don't want to be raking my fingers across the. Do not double side your no. impression plates. Bad idea. <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah, you heard it here. <laughs> You're witnessing. Because I'm telling you what, this now has an impression in it from me pushing on it on this side. 
Ooh, I love that sound. That usually means some Isn't good things are happening. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Okay, I really want to see it, so I'm going to put it on this end. Don't dilly dally. Now, some of those pots, like P was saying, are just tubes that she cleaned out because they're either kind of at the end and you just couldn't squeeze any more out of them, and then she mixed some of them together. But any of the little pots that have numbers on them, those are from the mix guide, and they will yeah, be... Yeah, if you see a number on it. And we even have the the results and the side-by-sides um, available from the last two weeks or so of us doing the comparison with the opaque paints and the paper artsy stuff. Ooh, that looks pretty that's still left on the plate, too. Oh, that is going to be so good. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh is that lovely? Oh, and this is going to... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is so wonderful. That is really wonderful. All right, I'm not going to do this on the other side because I actually like the way these yeah. two are working together. Leave that one don't alone. don't need to do anything to that one, but how? what are we going to do to get this off? Don't <gasps> mess it up. Oh, don't mess it up. Right. <laughs> the pressure's on. The pressure's on. I'm cleaning up this edge because I don't want that on there. I know some I people are horrified. Be... What you don't want? It. We want it pressed in. Well, I don't really want it pressed in, <laughs> but I want the... I want this to be like a frame, sort of. Yeah. Um, I, I'm pulling this on a new piece of paper, and yeah. I'm not going to use... Don't mess it up. Yeah, don't mess it up, because that's going to be awesome. I'm going to have my paper already here. <laughs> She's very excited. I am very excited. You all don't know how excited. What did I do with my... Oh, there it is. So this is the squares, and, um, and there's a set. So you can either get this one. There's a little ATC version. Um, but this is the, the squares sets that are available. And here's what's kind of cool. I love that one. I still had some of that other color on there. I, I, I love that it's coming through. You couldn't really see it a whole lot. That yellow that's up there yes. on the, the little lid. The From butter that, that she sort of mixed. <laughs> that was still on there. And you know... Here, here's where I really screw up. I should let this dry all the way. I'm not going to. But if I use exactly the right amount of this, I can pull this. And here's the other little trick. Okay, so Sharon, yes, the chipboard, the black stuff there that you see, that's just, yeah, black chipboard, get it on Amazon. Um, various companies carry it. But it's the thick chipboard. We just like it because it looks cool with the it just shows up. It shows it, up really well. It, 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 it's, you know, it takes a good picture. And then the light and fluffy okay, I, texture I need you paste. to hush for just a moment, okay. please. Okay. I, I'm not being rude, but uh, this is crucial. The reason I'm doing this is because I, I want to get paint on my brayer before I roll it across there so it doesn't pick that up because it will. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, that's cool. But I don't, I am not pressing on this at all. I'm just allowing the roller to glide, glide, to do its thing. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I don't know what's going on right there, but I want a smooth layer here. Nice thin layer so I can see what's going on underneath. And I do not know what that is, but it is really bugging me. Oh, goodness. I think I got it. Paint right. booger. <laughs> Dead young paint booger. All right, now it's starting to lift. I don't want that. Stop burying when that happens. Get your paper on there. Don't lollygag. You know, don't have a sip of coffee. Now Get on there. Is, now Get is it. when you can have a sip of coffee. I'm going to have a sip of coffee while that's. And I'm going to pull out the chipboard so you guys kind of have a better idea of what I'm talking about. And then, make sure that's really nice and... Alright, and if you want, I will um, I will add this. I think that I have the... And it's... Graphic 45 was the original stuff that we bought. This is a little bit more budget friendly. <laughs> that came in this just cellophane wrapped business. But it, yes! Oh, wow. You will not get that effect with stencils. Right. It just doesn't happen. I wish I'd cleaned that edge up a little bit more. Oh, I like it. 
I like it. I'm happy about that. Okay, that's us. That's, that's, yes, chipboard is way thicker. Well, not way thicker, but white. I mean. Because we, on our white ones here, Mariah backed them with another with layer. Because this was the just watercolor paper. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, some kind of board. But the chipboard, I really, I love. Okay, yeah. I want y'all to look at this one more time. <laughs> Give us some oohs and ahs and, you know. Oh, chair, and she even, she gave some clappy hands and... <laughs> This is this is this this is the pebble on the beach that you look for all day. Yeah. And finally find. Hey. Yep. We still got thirty minutes. Holy moly. Well, that's, the rest oh. of it's probably gonna be kinda downhill. <laughs> what do you call it? Anticlimactic. That was the that well, That's was, all right. Yeah. Use some, some other the of Okay, the, let's let's do something different here. Which other ones are, are really good ones to use? The waves that we did oh. last week. Like, bring that one in. Okay. I think it'd be cool to see the leaves, possibly. Okay, we'll put the leaves over here. If you guys have a specific one that you want to see, let us know in the chat there. Yeah, that you know. And I, I'm really, I'm very pleased with this one. Yeah. Very pleased. I use, uh, here's, here's the other cup saucers and bowls that's, it's really nice too so that's the one that you would order and then say that you want the broken one now is this what you're talking about yeah waves okay we've got two waves here. yes they're style one and style two. Oh, but here's another one that i want to do mariah <laughs> well, okay this made a really crappy stencil and <laughs> because <laughs> when you're it was a lot of work. raking it over the you, you know you go bop, 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 and you just have a bunch of messed up stuff there but boy, does it make a fabulous impression plate. So here's the here's my thought before you go too far with that, because this is not, not available, available in our shop. But because here's it's a, a poopy. Here's the thing. I Stencil. will try to list the texture plates. Like, we will make the texture plate. Because I'm not going to sell it as a stencil, because it's a terrible stencil. Yeah, and you would be angry. <laughs> it's just, it's a terrible stencil. <laughs> I'm angry every time I use it. <laughs> but we'll make it texture but it plate. it does work on the gel plate because it sucks down and sticks down. Because here, here's, it's, it's <laughs> many. <laughs> you know, here's, this is R&D. Here's, whoops, it's, these guys just keep getting stuck <laughs> together on me. Aye, aye, okay, aye. you saw this one earlier. These are the Franken stencils. Yeah. But here's the insides of this stencil, see? I, I glued them together. With string and it makes the most awesome. Oh, Fran's here. Hey, shall I? I pull a print. <laughs> oh, somebody went over and told her that we're, 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 we're we talking were talking about, about maps. <laughs> we were talking about the map. Yeah, and you, and, and you missed it, Fran. You have to watch back. You'll have to watch back. Yeah, these are the Franken stencils, the R and Ds, the ones that don't make it to the shop, and nor should they because. Uh, I don't know. They just, well, most most people would think that they were just like, what is this junk? Yeah, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna mix some paint here. Now we know some of you in in the chat here. Okay, did you see what level. that just did with that stringy thing there? That's the air. I mean, <laughs> this this is some goopy stuff. I'm just using this because I have it out here. That is some bright blue, but that made them. That's what mixed together with that other was beautiful. Beautiful. There you okay, go. Okay, this Tone is gonna make kind of a. A mucky. Mucky muck. Mucky muck. Actually, you're getting really close to kind of a Prussian blue. Oh, we are. <laughs> Good call, Mariah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just going to... Oh, hey, okay, Chris. Brayer this out and see what we've got here. But I, I do... I want to do this, and I, I know that this isn't something that we sell in our shop. Okay, see when that happens out there? You just do that. <laughs> you buff it. <laughs> you sort of. Yeah. You mix it with your brayer. Okay, got another one up there. Mariah, we're not even going to make it through halfway of what I had planned for today. Well, maybe we do this again next week. Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> you see? Now, on this string business, this is crucial. You put the string down because when you pull this up, you need to have that string. A little bit of lift to be able to pull it. Yeah, because <laughs> you don't want to pull the little bugger apart. <laughs> it's kind of like opening gum. 
<laughs> you know that little mm-hmm. twist around there? I, I know that a lot of you, like, love this and totally get into it, too. So I just feel a little bit like if, if somebody pops yeah. in, they're like, oh, my God, those people are crazy. What are they doing? They've got little Franken stencils and that's because, you know, we're crafty artists. <laughs> This People is, put some things this together. Is why, this is why you need to ask for the innards. And the innards, yes. Okay, not very interesting, right? Very interesting. This is kind of the beginning of a, a flippy floppy, sort of. And I turned my paper around. You she know, turned so. it around. Now, I, I'm a little unhappy. This is a little bit opaque. I don't like that so much. Yeah, you may not get as much of a... That's pretty cool, though. Isn't that cool? Now, you still have room to come back in and, you know, do something else there. <laughs> in fact, I may put this aside and come back to this. Mm -hmm. I think if you came back with a little bit of your butter mix or whatever... Or, yes, and, and use the impression plate on the other side so that you have, like, a connection between the two. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put that aside and let because that needs to dry over there before... Okay, well, we still have a little bit of blue goo. And actually, if you don't use the impression plate, then I can use that to list it in the shop. So, can you not use that? <laughs> okay, well, here. Just okay. take it. Just, just take, take it. it. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Okay, this is... I, I really like this stencil in blue because I think it's kind of oceany and, you know, I, I really do like it in blue. And oh, is this Miami Vice Blue? It, well, also it is. Also known as what number? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, because we were like, we, we said we needed to relabel it because it got kind of... I think it's a four. Yeah, I think that's right. But it's got some goopy stuff on it. Wait, we call it Miami Vice Blue because it's crazy. Okay, we're going to ha have some other residual going ons here. and uh, I like those little flecky bits that are kind of... Yeah. I think that's from that old paint. Because <laughs> it's the... That blue is... That tube it is, that was a little funny. And it's not... Unlike wine, it doesn't necessarily improve with age. Yeah, can you see how it f goes out there? And that's because I think some of the bonding agent in there is kind of... <laughs> Fran and Violet, they're, they're, they're planning dates. They need to get some gel plate and printing on. They're feeling inspired. I love it. Now, this one on the back here, <laughs> that is the Broken Lattice. Also one not available in our shop unless you request it in the comments. You can find the regular lattice one and then just say, I want Broken Lattice. For our special people that watch our live streams and hang out with us. That's right. That's there's right. Got, there's got to be some perks. Some perks. Loyalty. These loyalty perks. <laughs> I can't figure out how to set up the chat thing and whatnot, so this is the way I <laughs> say thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens here. Really could have probably used a little bit more. A little bit. Opacity in the paint. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. I mean, it's some wowie zowie blue, but man, it looks good with the with the waves. And I think that's style. I don't know. There's a style one and a style two. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do style two on the other side. All right. So that they kind of overlap. The waves overlap. Yeah. Now don't quote me on the actual like because there's style one, style two. Yeah, for I sure. Don't, I can't remember which one's which. I should have that. I'm gonna start a catalog because I can't remember now of all of them. There's a lot now. Oh, that's black. I don't want black. I want dark blue. <laughs> Where's your Prussian blue? I don't know. I think it's hiding out here. I've got two layers of jars on my little yeah, rolly cart here. Oh, here. I think I got it. You think you got Okay. Oh, no. That's 1.0. That's something. I don't know what that is. Here's an 18. Is it blue? No. Did it get put back someplace where it doesn't belong? Maybe. I got the 18s. Oh, those are really 
not what I had in mind because I don't know that they're going to go with that other one, but oh well. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like it. Yeah. Not too chabby. Not too. We'll mix a little something else with it. Maybe I could get... bust out the book and figure out which ones went. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my Prussian blue. Well, we need to keep an eye. Oh, here. I can tell you. It was on the other cart. Okay, well. Say la vie. We, <laughs> we got some... We got some wavy looking stuff going on here. Oh, um, Fran says it looks ethereal. ethereal. There we go. Woo. And nice and juicy. You notice I didn't brayer that off to the point where it was dry. Don't do that. When you're using the impression plates, you need some excess paint on there. To get and smush out. So that you get a good smush. Another term technical term. You heard it at PM Artist Studio. Okay, list of, oh boy, I, that's kind of wonky. No matters. I'll show you the plate in just a minute. It looks awesome. All right, Sharon, what are you saying in the, on the table in front of you? I wish the lighting would stay like that. I don't know why it won't, but. What? Oh, when you put that in there, it because of the white paper, it adjusts the light and things. Oh, you're fine. No, oh, okay. I'm just trying to freak out the table. Hey, are we still HDing? Uh, everything seems to be running fine. Let us know, guys. Does it look a little clearer, a little crisper this week? All right, now I see. it up a little. That's pretty. The smushy outies. I could have smushy outed it a little bit more and had a little less paint. And I'm liking that blue better than the one that's over there, yeah. but. Me too. I, I mean, I like them both. Look at this together, this yellow and this. Mm -hmm. That yellow is kind of the winner of the day. Like, it's it's making other things Whoa. very lovely. It is. Okay, what's next? Leaves. Oh, the missing blue. Oh, the missing blue. What number is the missing blue? It's uh, 2230. 230. In the book. Which is I, and I know kind of a Prussian blue. Leaves are not usually blue, but these leaves are going to be blue. Hey, I made the leaves in my shibori thing blue. Maybe I can use this. I have got to finish that journal. Ugh, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of thinking about it. Okay, well, we still had a little smooshy bits from the other, so this is not really true. <laughs> true blue. <laughs> true we... blue 23. 2 3 <laughs> Have some funky marks out there, but we don't really care. Give it a good smack. And like I said, depending on the pressure, you can just do a light pressure on this and you're going to get a lot more yeah. paint coming off with your edge there. I, I, I don't know why I worry about I that, but either. I do. I do. I don't like it. And I feel pretty safe about that because this has retardant in it, so I, I wasn't... Yeah, so remember, a lot of the mixes from the guide will have retardant in it. Oh, all right. Lisa says the 1080 is great. I'm, I'm so pleased. Well, after you guys, a lot of us, a lot of you were saying that you were watching on bigger screens and stuff, I'm like, I think that we need to up our game, so... Sweet. Okay, I'm going to pull that one again, and I'm going to use a little less paint. Yes, but I love that. I, I do, too. It's rich and, and lovely, and it would be wonderful. Almost looks like the, oh, and here I go again, with the cyanotype, cyanotype. I, I always I say know. it wrong. And I, I've listened to it, like, Oh, you looked it up and stick. listened to it? <laughs> That's kind of sad, Mark. Did you know that? Like, on YouTube, you can look things up and hear, like, the word being said. Although, I don't trust all of them, because some of them are different, I guess, depending on where you're from. <laughs> but, I do like that. She likes the edge buildup, too, but for this purpose, like, and how it's going to end up, you know, with it being kind of layer one. Yeah, see that's, that? I, I, that's, I, I don't, I like that smushy... And that's one of the nice things about the impression plate. And I'm trying to pick up those those little guys when I'm doing this here. Yeah. But I don't always get them. Uh, 
And there. don't you worry, she'll end up using that paper for something. Oh, yeah. Uh, in fact, I, I got one, and I, I meant to show everyone. <laughs> Part of the show and tell. And I cut you off. Yeah, that I, I, I did this, huh? Okay, so the trick is to go all the way around. Don't just it would keep... also be helpful, like, if I cut the plates, you know, more. If it went over the edge a bit. Yes, make them a little bit larger, then you're not going to yeah. have this problem that we're having here. But you saw, I, I dealt with it. You can deal with it if you... And then those of you that have the larger um, gel plates, you because these sheets come in 12 by 12, so that should you could just cover most of you. I mean, I know some people are on those 14 by whatever's. Man, I, that's a lot of space to cover. That seems like a lot of pressure. <laughs> I just yeah. think, you know, I feel, okay, yeah. <laughs> now, see, these are two totally different effects that you can get here. I'm loving that. See, and I think I can come back and spray that. And I love this this nice, soft vignetting edge there. Which right, you can, is that kind uh, of vignette? Yeah, those smooshy things that you see in Photoshop. Smushy thing. That, that's the that's the name of the tool. The smushy, the smushy round bits. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> clear that off of there right now. Sharon says every time you smack it, the cat jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Our kitties. I'll have kitty. to put that in, in the next thing. If you have animals and you know people that scare easily, you should probably take turn down it. the volume a little, maybe. <laughs> okay. Did we do that one? Yeah, we did, because it's got color on it. Okay, I know we did that one. We haven't done this one. Yes, that's just the regular bowls and... Yeah. So it's really I'm like bowls and saucers, but I... Trying to go through. Okay, we've done that. We've done that. Oh, no, I for, need to f remember. We've got another side. Yes. To some of these. We need to do that one, because yeah. that's a really nice... Everybody loves it. I love it. I love X's, and I, I, I wish I'd... I'm going to try to get all the X's in a set this week. Another goal. And yeah. I'm calling it my X's from Texas. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's a goal okay, for this week. Here, here's a really. Oh, I should do this side. That's the thing. Yeah, I think that's the two different. Because remember, the, there's oh, an yeah, original thing. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. big one. Right there, part of the big one. And then down here on the end is, are the two little ones overlapping each other. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty good just like that. But this side's kind of poopy. All right, let's do some... Uh, poopy. Let's do some dark brown here. All right, let's do it. Very excited about this. What number is that? I don't know, it just blobbed out all over my thumb. Oh, no. Get it back in the jar. This is 16. And we're going to put a little purple with that. All right, we have um, we have ten minutes, well, twelve minutes to be exact. But we can hang out longer if you guys want to, or we'll try to make it through more of these impression plates. And then maybe we do something different next week. I don't know. Okay, now this is what's lovely okay. about not cleaning off your brayer. Look at that wonderful stuff we got going but, on you know, there. Never to be repeated. Never exactly. to be repeated. Well, you know, that's the way. I think that's kind of the beauty of it. Real, you know, when you cook and you make something that's absent, it just makes it that much more special because you know that that result is not going to be totally replicated ever again. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And you saw and it here. <laughs> you just go with it. You could say you were there when <laughs> P made that most awesome Oh, I'm gra grabbing my... <laughs> Boy, that's right on the money. You're going to be able to have something to kind of pick at. This is like peeling the backs of stickers off. Now, I tried to give these back to Louisa. But she, she, oh, these she, are some of her prints she sent because she knew that they could mm -hmm. get get some love over here at PMR to Studio. By the way, if you are new to the chat and all that, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, we very much appreciate it. Okay, now do you Ooh. remember what it looked like? I love that. Isn't that lovely? That's a good 
That's a good one. See, the hashtag, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, now we were going to come back to this guy. What was I going to do? I don't know what I was going to do. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were going to do that on, well, we were going to do the impression plate on the other side, but I asked you to please keep oh, it pristine yes, so that way okay. I can take a picture of I it. I wanted to do it, y'all, but. Now, if you guys don't, I mean, we could make another one of these, and then we could give this one away to somebody. Or the True. give the new one. True. Here, all right. She can use it, and then we'll just make oh, another I, one. I don't need to. I, I've got plenty of things to do here. Okay. We can do it next week. All right. All right. So here I've got two lovely Ooh. wall prints. When did those happen? I don't know, really. Oh, I think I was experimenting. This was one of my sprays experiments, which I wasn't too terribly impressed with. Um, it just didn't happen like I wanted it to happen. But I think this is going to be, I don't know. What are you feeling? What you feeling? What you feeling? Okay, so I'm kind of catching up here on the yes do the orange side gorgeous parchment i don't know if we did that one. Oh, she wanted <laughs> she wanted you to put the print on the orange side with the thing fran did and then oh. um well you gotta let your thing dry because you just put that's the one that you just pulled but you did it on the other side oh yeah it's got to dry yeah and, and that's one of the reasons that you want to have multiples of these things going because you need it to dry all the way before you reprint Darn it. What was that? <laughs> oh, holy cow. That was a purple. That could have been an absolute. Oh. That could have been a situation. Situation. Not that she didn't have a situation with blue paint over there anyway. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of that. Okay. No. So. <laughs> what are we thinking here? Uh, oh, Fran's calling out countries on something. She's doing what? She, Fran's seeing more countries and things. I wonder on the, the blue and orange stuff you got out here. Or, oh. I don't know. The maps. <laughs> the maps? <laughs> I think they think they, yeah, I think it's right. Now these were created with the sprays, as P said. So you might be able to get similar without all of the rigmarole of letting things build up and pull and hoping yeah. that all of that with the sprays and ink or paint. Sprays and paint yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Sorry. Oof, that was. Oh, here's one. Ooh. That's the. That's totally everything on there is a roll off, or a flip flop, or a cleaning a stencil. I like that. I think I it needs a little bit of that blue. I think it does too. Let's just do that. Let's do that. Just do screwing those up and, <laughs> you know, halfway <laughs> really nice looking. Okay, Mariah says blue. What about this? Blue green. Yes. Blue green. Some people call it. <laughs> Chris says you see maps too. Yeah. Ooh, I love that. Oh my goodness, string is over here getting stuck down. Oh, a rusty skip, yes. Because it has that almost like the the rust has started. I like that. What am I? I mean, I'm just a Egg sometimes. Okay, we're just getting some lovely stuff going on here. We're not going to stencil anything here. We're just going to flop this baby down here. No, oh, because there's things already. There's on there. some stuff there that you'd be surprised with. Now that is. would be kind of a cool one to bring in here towards the end. Rem the one print that we call Susan's, and it has stuff on it, but you you don't really see it until you do something oh, like you good, just did there. Good plan, Mariah, but I, I don't know. It's buried. It's buried. I could go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna close mine. Let's see here. There we go. Well, I don't know, Ooh, but I love that. I do. I think it's lovely. I, I don't know that I think it's very lovely. Um, I'm going to use yellow on the other side. Look at that, Mom. Look at that. Talk about going in up here. And Mariah I has a very active uterus. Mine's not. <laughs> have to have a uterus to find things. <laughs> you heard that here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to side for just a second. So talk. Oh, I'm supposed to talk. Okay, well, you can see I've already got some 
wonderful different kind of goo -ga things going on here here that are in yawn and I'm hoping that you know these two are going to somehow have a relationship to each other this end and that end and you can tell this is the back of it. one of the it, it used to be a okay now see that's a lot and I, I like that a lot better this still has a little yellow but remember, I can come back in with this stuff, or Mariah can come back in with her sprays and pick up some more of, of that. I could also come in with my... No, I'm not going to do that right now. All right, Mariah wants to, me to put something on top of this so that you can see what you can't... I, I don't know if you can or not see the bamboo rub off there. This might be a really good color to do that with. I'll just uh, add a bit of really transparent green here. It's almost yellow. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, isn't that? Yeah. Did you see? Look at that. Ooh, yeah, you brought it together. Man, that's beautiful. And that's just. That's just a piece of paper that was the... Yep. All the smush-offs, smush wipe-offs, flip-flops. Flip-flops. The this of the that of the... This of the that. Okay. I'm very proud of your colors you got going on there. Looky, looky there. Now I'm really putting a lot of pressure on here because I want that to suck into those little spots. Little spots. And this is a really good example. See how it pulled where the paper was, but it didn't pull so much where the print was? That's going to happen. You can expect that to happen 99% of the time. But you still see these areas down here, and you can still see slight little... Yeah, hold it just to the side ever so slightly, because that's where you can really see that, see, it was a rub-off. From this the uh, bamboo stencil. Yeah. Man, I love I that. I think that's really cool looking. Okay, Susan. <laughs> you weren't here, and we went ahead and showed you our... Okay, so this is going to be kind of cool, because yeah. I, can, I can now put... Um, something else on here and we're going to be get picking up a lot of other this is this is when you work that's the bamboo stencil Fran so yeah I'll go ahead and do a bamboo if I can find it yeah it's right on top here and I haven't done one we, we kind of it's an oldie but goodie and we found it <laughs> we found it over here <laughs> and this is a very appropriate color yeah I think so it fits the the style the, the theme. The theme of the bamboo. And we try to use common names so that way, well, A, we can remember. <laughs> Although she gets mad at me sometimes when I name them and she's like, no, that's not what I call it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have, yeah. have a little problem, you know. <laughs> and see, this is what's also nice about this is you can clean up that edge with your... <laughs> or wipey and you're still gonna have a little bit there oh uh, well Robin just refer to the guide because uh, P loves mixing some green paints <laughs> yeah I do I, I have green as well represented in my repertoire of jars yeah there's a lot of green going on a lot of green every kind of green that you can imagine even some greens I don't really like because they look really good when you mix them with other colors. Red. Yes. Get those rusty bits. Oh. Fran, you with us? Yeah, Fran's here. Looky there, Fran. Ooh. I love that. And you see what's left on the plate? Was it metallic-y stuff? No, I just, uh, I, I had, remember when I put down the, um, 
whatever it was that doesn't have retardant in it. Oh, and so it's still sticking. It's still sticking. It's dry. Yeah. <laughs> so Seriously. I think that's really awesome. I like that. And if I don't like this and I want it to be more of an even color, I hand it to Mariah. Spray it. Pardon me. And she will do some sprays. Or I will take a very translucent color and just just <laughs> Fran just fainted. <laughs> Fran fainted. I'm glad you took the keyboard down with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and look at this. This look at what's happening with this. Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. I just I, these are such a win win. They're fun. Look at this. I mean, I'm would that make them. a lovely cover of something? That's so cool. I mean, honestly. And depending on the color palette, I mean, it just has, a lot of these have, thematically can go in so many different directions. So many different directions. Okay, well, we are at the end. If we you are. guys, um, I mean, we can continue on until, you know, Izzy shows up and, you know, she will and say hello. Um, okay. Because we have I, some I, more I, plates to do, so why don't we just continue on? Okay, well, and, I'm just... Oh, <laughs> Actually, they're walking in now. What? They're walking in now. Oh, they are? Uh -huh. Okay, good. All right, now, what I can do here, and I just want to talk about this. I can pull this using my Titan Buff opaque heavy body yeah. paint. And it's going to look really cool. Or I can just go ahead and build up a few more layers. I haven't used purple yet today. All right, Heather's asking, okay, when you use the transfer plate, can you grab the paint from that for the negative oh meaning like kind of flop it off a lot of times probably not because you're not gonna have like you have you kind of need that oh, inner layer yeah uh, you can if you use it real really heavy paints it it, it just it, you don't have enough there for it to do that oh look who's here say hello did you go swimming? Mm -hmm. Izzy, is it hot out there? Is it warm? Did you get hot, baby? She looks tired. <laughs> Did, Did you your do daddy that? feed you something? What'd you eat? I didn't eat. You, you didn't eat anything? Oh, you poor baby. Uh -huh. Your daddy has starved you? Uh -huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I ate something. You did eat something. What did you eat? Burrito. Oh, a burrito. But then it froze out, the belly. Oh, you spilt it. No, oh. no, throw out. You had to throw it out. Oh, when you were. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's fine. All right, this is our last poll. Do you want to tell everybody if they haven't subscribed already, if they would please, and if Did they you like this. Subscribe? The Panama Studio. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. <laughs> Be sure to come back next week. We do this every Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it was a really good one. Um, if you aren't part of the Facebook group, please do join us over there because that's where all the fun stuff happens during the week and what we kind of decide on doing here on the Sundays that we do live stream so I think we probably will bring texture plate or the impression plates back in next week or something but we'll decide in the uh, Facebook group during the week and that is it for us today and uh, be sure to show us the stuff that you make um, show us your impression plates we want to see all of that in the group 